Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. A friend recently asked me about proton pump inhibitors. You've heard of them, the purple pill, Nexium, or Prilosec, or Zegrid, or any one of the number of those drugs that inhibit acid production in the stomach. They're the ninth most common prescribed drug in the United States, accounting for a $13 billion industry. But there are dangers to proton pump inhibitors, and even though they are approved to be sold over the counter, you ought to be aware of those dangers. First, the FDA said these should be used for limited times. These are not drugs that are meant for long-term use. The risk of the drugs are pretty well known to the doctors, but now it's time that you should get informed. There's an increased risk of fractures with these drugs, of wrists, hips, and spines. There's an increased risk of decreasing blood magnesium levels, which could lead to seizures, convulsions, or even heart arrhythmias. There's recently been a report of an increased risk of dementia by quite a bit, as well as an increased risk of foodborne illness. You know, that stomach acid that protects you against those bacteria that you might be eating in the lettuce won't be there to protect you and those bacteria will be free to grow and prosper in your in stomach. In fact, the risk of infection is so great with people who take those proton pump inhibitors that one of my good friends and colleagues at Monmouth Medical Center, he was chairman of the Department of Surgery, forbade patients who were taking those drugs from being on his floor because of their high risk of developing antibiotic-associated colitis from Clostridium difficile. I know that's a mouthful. Suffice it to say, proton pump inhibitors are not something you should just casually take over the counter and chronically. They don't work that quickly. They take about three days to work. If you have acute problems with indigestion, there are other drugs that are safer and that are out there that you can consider. Everything from Maalox and Mylanta to other drugs such as Pepsid, Ranididine or Zantac, Cymetidine or Tegamet. All of those drugs are much safer and don't have those side effects. And if you're continually having a problem with reflex, you should talk to your doctor. Lifestyle changes are paramount. Not eating late, not eating large meals, losing weight. And sometimes it's caused from a chronic condition from surgery that is addressed by surgery called a hiatal hernia. And if you have one of those, instead of taking a lifetime of drugs, you might want to consider a surgical procedure called a hiatal hernia repair. Or if you're obese, it would be best to have a weight loss surgery done, as well as fix the problem at that time. They're the most common surgeries that we do in our practice. So I would encourage you to be careful about those drugs. Be cautious. Don't use them chronically or long term. They're not meant for that. Instead, Lifestyle changes rule, and there are some other medications that you can use acutely if you have a problem. For your doctor's orders, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.